hello dear friends students and viewer today in this video i am showing you what is composite index what is uh, what are the different types of composite index how it's calculate and uh, how it interpret and drawing portion so before going to discuss the composite index first we should know what is the meaning of composite no uh, composite means actually it is made up of several elements or parts that mean when an index is calculated with an uh, with the help of some other index that is actually composite index so it is a multi dimensional concept and it is also compiled or it is also calculated from two or more single indicators and that's why it is uh, I mean better to say that indices rather than index and it is generally used to measure the level of development of different regions basically composite index is used to measure the level of I mean development so mainly three types of components are factors are used to determine the level of development and these are the uh, demographic determinants then socio-political determinants and the economic determinants so in demographic determinants it includes the life expectancy then birth rate then death rate then fertility rate then infant mortality rate then percentage of population to urban population then literacy or educational level then health poverty then sanitization is of marriage drinking water supply level of urbanization and in economic components it includes the gdp or gnp per capita then purchasing power parity or ppp then unemployment and energy consumption so types of composite indices actually there are several popular composite indices are found but most of them are introduced by UNDP such as HDI or Human Development Index, then PQLI or Physical Quality of Life Index, HPI or Human Poverty Index, GDI or Gender Related Development Index, and GEM, GEI, GGGI or GII or Gender Inequality Index. So except these indices, there are so many composite indices are also used to find out or compile the data. Actually it is very difficult to discuss uh, all these I mean uh, indices in a single video and that's why uh, I will discuss only the HDI or Human Development Index in this video so if you uh, want to calculate the other indices and if you have some problem so uh, in such cases please mention it in my comment box and then i will make another uh, video only on request so it is one of the um, popular i mean um, composite indices uh, which is used by human uh, undp uh, to measure the human well-being development uh, where the composite index is used so it is first introduced in 1990 by the famous economist mahabub ul haq and great novel laureates amartya sen actually hdi is the uh, compilation of three basic dimensions so uh, for long and healthy life um, hdi use the life expectancy index to know the access of knowledge um, it is used the i mean mean year of schooling or educational index and to know the sustainable standard of living of a particular area uh, gross national income or income index is used so here is the formula you can see that hdi equals to root q lei into ei into ii so here lei represents actually life expectancy index then ei it represents the education index and ii represents the income index here one thing you have to remember that if any i mean uh, composite index if it compiles three 
uh, separate or individual data in such cases it will be root cube but if it is i mean compilation or summarizing four separate or individual data then it will be root four or if it compiles two separate index uh, then it will be root square so only this is the i mean uh, differences in between i mean different composite indices so before going uh, to find out the hdi first we should know how to find out these i mean single indicators or single index that mean how to find out the life expectancy index how to find out the educational index or income index so in the next slide i am uh, showing here how to find out this single index and after that we will compile this single index and we will uh, i mean get the uh, human development index so here you can see that this is income index and the formula is log actual value minus log minimum divided by log maximum minus log minimum uh, these i mean three column represents the same formula but this i mean maximum and minimum value is different so here you can see in the all these i mean four uh, formula maximum and minimum is uh, exist and that mean this maximum and minimum value is very important and it is predetermined by the i mean undp for example for income index the maximum income value is $75000 whereas the minimum income value is $100 okay and in this way the maximum life expectancy is 85 years whereas the minimum is 20 years and for educational index we have two separate i mean index one is expected year of schooling and here the minimum expected year of schooling is zero but the maximum is 18 years whereas the minimum year of schooling is minimum is uh, 0 and maximum is 15 so uh, with the help of this maximum and minimum value and if we know the actual value of a particular region then we can easily find out this individual or uh, index so for example suppose uh, a particular region or a region as the i mean income in uh, income six thousand dollar so if you put this value here that mean in actual value here then you will get the income index that mean 0 0.618 and in this way suppose uh, for example in our country the actually life expectancy is recently it is actually 68 so if you put the value here that mean in actual place then you will get the life expectancy index but for convenience i have just assumed some value here that means six thousand dollar then 60 10 and 5 and with the help of this assumed value just i have shown here how to find out this index okay after finding out this i mean individual index we have to compile these three index so using this formula that mean uh, human development index formula so this is our actually formula that mean root cube and here the lei or life expectancy um, index is our uh, 0.615 so i have to put out the value here then educational index you can see here this is educational index actually this column represents the expected year of schooling and this column represents the mean year of schooling uh, to find out the educational index we have to sum up these two value that mean add these two value and then divide by two and you will get the educational index this is actually 0 0.445 so i am zooming so here you can see this is the i mean income index this is actually life expectancy index and this is our educational index so just multiply these three value and after that root cube it and then you will get the human development index that is 0 0.553 so in this way you can easily find out the i mean individual uh, index of uh, human index in this question life expectancy then uh, gross national income index and educational index is given so here the question asks to find out the developed and backward states using composite index so this is the question and on the basis of this index that mean here already individual index 
value is given so on the basis of this value one can easily find out this human development index that means just multiply this one this one and this one and after that root cube it and you will get the human development index so this is very simple and i have already uh, i mean sh uh, shown this thing um, before this slide so on the basis of this human development index you have to i mean categorize some zone so here i have created total one two three four four zones so on the basis of a certain i mean standard value that mean on the basis of this table so this is uh, this table is already fixed and here 0 0.900 and above value hda value represents actually very high human development whereas 0 0.8 2.899 represents actually high human development then 0.5 2.799 represents medium human development and then low human development and very low human development so here we can see that the highest value is 0 0.823 that means here the very high human development uh, is actually absent so we have total 1 2 3 4 4 regions so in this way i have uh, created this zone that mean high medium low and very low uh, on the basis of this calculated human development index here you can see that is 0 0.221 and uh, this will includes the very low human development category then the zone that mean uh, b the value of b is 0 0.489 so 0 0.489 actually it is uh, it includes the low human development because 0 0.489 okay so in this way i categorize total four zone and for each zone i selected some i mean shades so i use this as a choropleth shades so finally use this shade on a given i mean map this map th that mean the outer boundary or outer layer of this map will be given at the time of examination so use these shadings here and prepare this choropleth map using the i mean human development index then write here the headings then write the legend scale etc and finally you have to interpret the data so in interpretation use this table okay no need to write this table here but use this table or using this table you have to interpret the uh, i mean calculated value or in uh, human development index okay so here we can see that uh, the d state where the maximum hdi is exist that is 0 0.823 but in uh, a state the lowest hdi value is found okay according to the reference of this table and after that we can see that b state um, uh, the calculated hdi value is 0 0.489 which is categorized as the uh, low level of human development and a is categorized as very low human development region okay and finally on the basis of this i mean value or uh, you have to prepare a rank table so here is the rank table so we have uh, five i mean states so five rank is here and the first rank got the state d then c then e b and a on the basis of their hdi i mean or human development index rank so in this way you have to i mean interpret the data and here i have given you a practice set that means practice question so using this question uh, you, you can take a, a screenshot and calculate this value so here one thing uh, you have to i mean keep in your mind that the life expectancy at birth is given not the life expectancy i mean uh, index okay uh, in the same way uh, here the educational index is not given instead of that the expected year of schooling and mean year of schooling is given and instead of i mean income index here gni uh, that mean uh, 
GNI in dollar is given so using this actual value you have to find out the first the individual index and finally you have to compile all the individual index uh, to HDI so thank you thank you for watching